Well, whenever I have all this crap out, it means I'm working on a video. And now it's exporting. Video about Mac OS, or now OS 10 Mountain Lion. Some updates on that. Got home about an hour ago. It's just about 3 o'clock. It's a pretty crappy day. I think it rained all day, but as you can see, we lost a lot of snow, so that's good news. Hopefully that's the last blast of snow we're going to have, but... You know, February 16th, I doubt it. Several days ago, I got a request from, uh, I guess, some other Polo fans out there. Um, wanted to see some of the stuff I had, so I'm gonna go ahead and take care of that real quick. Hey, real quick, guys, just a precursor. If you get bored through the Polo stuff, skip through. We had a pretty interesting night. Stick around. Starting with what I wore today. This uh, thing, it's, I, I like it, but the zipper on it is just absolute horse shit. Kenan has one, too. It's, it's a garbage zipper, but it's part of the big horse. I can't really see what I'm filming. But there it is, uh, as well as the jeans. I've worn these for a while. I have a couple pairs of them. I didn't have any black socks this morning, so I'm stuck with those. Uh, but my whole closet, really, I've been wearing mostly polo stuff now for, I don't know, two, three years. Start off with some suits back here. Joseph Banks, I got a, it's called British Tan. There's my summer suit. There's the Yacht Club one, blazer ties. There's Yacht Club tie, and BMW M tie is right here. Haven't had a chance to wear that yet. Then I've got shirts, mostly Joseph Banks. I actually have a polo sweater vest I haven't worn forever. But then I've got some of these dress shirts that you know wear around the holidays and such. Don't really wear the yellow one much. There's my prick shirt. This is actually a Regent. That's a really good shirt. That one's a little small, so don't wear that as much. I like that one. There's my Christmas shirt. I haven't worn that one for a while. Sunday shirt. And then I have the the rugby. I really try to do, I guess, medium or large custom fit because. I'm not a big guy, if you haven't noticed. So, got a couple of those. That one's old. That's one of the first ones I got. There's another good one. Sunday shirt. But when I say Sunday shirt, you know, you might think that's like a church. I don't, I don't do church. Um, that's just like, you know, romping around the house on picking sticks up in the yard. and Wear that one all the time. Then I've got this uh, jacket type thing. I haven't really worn much this year. Um, but I wear these a lot, you know, I'll just wear like one of these to school, a rugby to school, and then just throw that on over it if it's cold out. Then I have this thing that Kevin doesn't like because of the collar, it's like this old man thing, but it's really warm, so I like that in the winter. Then we've got a Ferrari thing, that's Polo, I got that for California last year, I think I only wore it once, it was warmer than I expected. Eddie Bauer, North Face, and then I'm into all of the summer stuff back here, it's kind of in the corner of the closet, these are all just the custom fit actual Polo Polos on a BMW shirt. Another Ferrari one, but all of these are polos that I just wear, you know, the short sleeve ones in the summer. Uh, I don't know why, I've always worn collared shirts. I think it's a better, classier look, and you know me, Mr. Class here. So there's my teal one, that's a great summer shirt. The USA one that kind of matches the jacket I'm wearing. Um, but I, I try to wear polo stuff. I think I'm a big believer in the phrase, you get what you pay for. You can go to Walmart or Kohl's and, and get clothes that may last better and may not fade as often. Um, but I just don't think it's the quality and the fit type that you get with polo stuff. Kind of awkward shot, but that's a belt that I've worn for a while. It's just leather with that uh, goldish color buckle. Um, I like that. It goes with the shoes, and you know that's important. And then somebody asked about the polo cologne. This is just polo black. I think it's only like five ounces or something. It's really expensive though, but it smells really good. Then I have some cheaper stuff. What is this? Ed Hardy. And uh, I wear Nautica during the week usually. And of course I've got some samples there that I've gotten in the mail when I buy this stuff. I'd show you the polo lake shorts. They actually call their swimsuits lake shorts that I wear in the summer, but they're all put away with some other summer stuff. Um, but I also have the shoes I showed you. They're called the BNA Boat Shoe, I think. Wear those most of the week. Actually, I think I did today. And then I wear the Pumas as well, the two Ferrari Pumas, and then the dress shoes. I have sandals and I have boots. I have a lot of shoes. But those are the polo uh, um, boat shoes that I wear during the week. Those are my old ones. Those are cheap Margaritaville ones I just wear around the yard and washing the cars now. So. For those of you who asked, there you go. For the rest of you, I apologize. That was probably odd. Oh yeah, and you gotta have polo socks too. Got about 10 pairs of those. Okay, so it looks like we're making progress here. Three minutes left on this. It's gonna be a big video that I'm gonna try to upload this afternoon, but I have no promises when that's gonna get done. Uh, time is really flying. I'm already done with this week, so tomorrow I don't know what I'm gonna do. I might go over to the grandparents' house and they wanted to wax those wood floors we uncovered last week, so I might get a coat of wax on that. And then Saturday we're gonna do the other bedroom and I'll film more in there. 
the carpet, take that off down to the padding, take the tack board off around the room, clean the floors, and moving in the furniture is the hard part. Those beds are pretty heavy. But these are the wood floors we have in here that um, I filmed in the vlog before. These are a completely different finish, They're like really glossy. You don't feel the individual boards, but they are individual boards. I mean, this is a good, probably really expensive, actually it was, I remember floor. Uh, this used to be dining room. This is all original, but you can't tell anymore. I mean, they actually took boards out um, so you wouldn't have a seam, and they put new ones in, like, back to here, and this one comes all the way back here. They did a really great job, and I, I like hardwood floors. They just look better, and I think they're easier to maintain than carpet, and they definitely last longer if you take care of them, and, you know, we have the little rubber things on the bottom of the chairs so they don't scratch and the furniture and stuff, and we don't have dogs or anything that would hurt them or little kids anymore. But this original floor here in the foyer was in pretty bad shape, but now it looks great. All right, 5.30. I've got most of my work done. Emails are zeroed out. Actually, there's like five that came in over the past 20 minutes, but I'll do those later. So I'm going to try to figure out what we're going to do tonight between Ken and Taylor, Alex, who knows what's going on. Um, I'm kind of eating my, my version of dinner. I don't know when they're going to eat. So I'll text them, see what's going on. It's getting dark and uh, more snow melted. So, uh, that's good. Been out here playing pickup sticks for like the past 20 minutes. There's tons of crap down from this tree. There's a big dead spot here. We used to have maple in there and it got too big. It was touching the house, so we pulled it out. So there were a bunch of sticks down. I cleaned that up and it still looks like hell, but it is a more better hell than it was before. And the grass is really wet back here and it's getting dark. It's about 10 to 6. Texted Cannon, he's got something going on from 7 to 8, so we'll go find him afterwards. Um, Taylor's free, and I think he just texted me. Somebody did. Oh, they're on their way over. He, Taylor, somebody. Yeah, all right. Well, Taylor's on his way over. And uh, I forgot we took down these two trees here. We had these flowering things. They got way too big. They were growing in the house. So we took them down. But now I have really easy access to my secondary uh, water spigot for when we water the yard. The one built into the house and power so that could be useful this summer and check this out i think is it frozen no it looks frozen because it's very still that's all water that's a low spot they were supposed to fix that when we redid the landscaping a couple years ago but they never got to it more sticks to pick up less work to do when spring really hits i guess so yeah hopefully the rest of this snow melts off tomorrow and uh, today was going to be the warmest day. It was supposed to be 45. I don't even think it hit 40. It felt pretty cool. Um, so maybe I'll pull out some of these things. Now, I said I was going to start them the other day, and I didn't. Uh, so we'll see if I can. This one's going to be the pain in the ass. It's a small engine. It's way too small of an engine they put on that weed hacker. It's a still. Um, so it's a pain to start. And need that hand. And it's, it's hard to keep running, so we'll see how it does. This, don't go all over the place. Which I ended up doing. Hi. Hi. She's in ecology? Yeah, she's in our ecology class, the skinny one. Which one? Which, the bitch? How do you not even know what it's supposed to be? I know my That's what you get when you're a stud, boys. Isn't that right? Depending on the quality of the footage, I'll leave it in. Taylor, what do you think? All right, we got all the boys here. Hey, Mike. All right, Taylor's gonna give us a little demo of some skills that he has here. Unbelievable. Oh. All right, do the, do the curtsy. I don't think he can do his curtsy with the, wait, fix your pants. <laughs> all right, now walk. <laughs> Taylor, that is messed up. 
Why is it so big? What are you talking about? Chill no collar still? Oh. I went, went, went to something else. Rick! Chill, did that shirt come from the private collection of Eric Foreman? Do you know who that is? Somebody in the vlog is gonna know who Eric Eric, who 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 Eric, Taylor, return fire. Throw the dip. Don't throw the dip. I paid for that dip. Don't throw it. Don't throw it. Just go over the seal. You see that? Mine first gear is longer. What? No, it's not. He has six gears. Count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. No. So do you like that line of correct, Taylor? Taylor. His <laughs> <laughs> eyes are all blue tonight. Wait, he started with 100, right? Our host is leaving us! So is the bandwagon! First, yes. look at the footage. I mean, he, he skipped Bach, Beethoven, and got directly to Montreux. <laughs> Beatles, Beach Boys, and Birds. Hi, Taylor! Hi! Cannon! Guys, that was probably the best vlog that I have ever edited. Uh, not necessarily the editing, we just had an awesome night. It is about 11.50 right now. We had Alex, Kenan, Taylor, and Mike, Jack. We should have invited him. Uh, but we had a pretty interesting dinner and then we came back and that was, uh, that bug on, oh my god, that was fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. It's a little longer, I apologize for that. I'm out here now, I'm freezing, I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna edit this in and get this up. Uh, hopefully you stuck around through the boring ass polo part and uh, at least had a tenth of the fun that we had tonight down in the basement and everything. So tomorrow's Friday, I've got the day off at 11, I'm going over to the grandparents house, we're going to pull the carpet up in that other bedroom and this uh, car actually looks decently clean right now, which it kind of is but it got rained on all day and you can see it down here on the bumpers and stuff, but it's not bad. It's not bad, that's an awesome day, I hope you guys enjoyed. Have an awesome evening and I'll talk to you tomorrow morning. Good night.